Amen. God bless you. Let's pass out our feet this morning. Amen. Let's give a clap on
so many things on my mind, and I'm sure you do too. And our world is hurting right now. Our people are hurting. And, and the great thing is for everybody here in this house today is that we serve a great and mighty God. And we have the victory already in Him. Amen. We just have to keep reminding ourselves of those promises as we're going through this time. George shared with you guys last week, we have, um, sorry, Pastor George shared with you all last week, we have a, a grandmother who's, who's heading for her next step in life, right? She's about to transition to go be with the Lord very soon. We have an uncle who's, who's battling a new diagnosis of leukemia. We have a world that's plagued by a pandemic right now. And we have people that are hurt and suffering and they need the Lord right now. And it is our job to stand in the gap and pray for them. So I encourage you to do that with me today to lift your voices to the Lord. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, wow. 
all worshiping is beautiful. It's only like angels from up here. Can we go a little bit deeper? Is that all right? Amen. Just get lost in God's presence. Oh, no, 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 no,
big and how powerful you are, and yet you choose to have your habitation and dwell in our hearts. You are awesome, and you are mighty, and you're bigger than anything we'll ever face. You're bigger than anything that will ever come against you. You're bigger than, you're bigger than life. You're bigger than death.
We pray in the name of Jesus that you would just bless your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
give the God the glory right there where you're at?